Hey guys, I hope you guys are about to enjoy the video that you're about to watch. And if you guys want to get access to awesome trades like this that me and Hayden post on a regular basis, all you have to do is sign up with the link in the description. Now remember, we're not always going to win them, but we're going to make some great gains along the way. Feel free to check out the profit and loss history on my website. Peace. Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and making some really good trades. As per usual, this is not the Bitcoin chart. Let's get right into the analysis because the analysis here because Bitcoin just had a very big dump uh, today. Uh, again, this actually happened like early on last night in the Sunday evening uh, and it continued on throughout the day today, you know, during the, the trading session during the, you know, regular market hours. And again, we've been seeing this bearish divergence on Bitcoin building for quite a bit of time. Now, we are very oversold in the short term. Taking a look at like the one hour, you can see we're in some very oversold conditions. We're probably due for maybe a, a bit of a bounce here. Again, how far this bounce is going to go, uh, I'm not too sure. But in the short term, you could expect a little bit of resistance right around these previous lows here. And if we do get over that, then you still have the top of the range right around 44,200. That's going to be a, a little bit of resistance there as well. So for the time being, you can actually try and play for a little bit of a bounce play. I know we are long in the Discord right now. We actually longed one of the coins that did not break down. We actually longed AVAX before this pump up here. We got into some longs uh, right around $36 and it just rallied up a beautiful 7% there. So again, we're going we're gonna to have to see if it can break above $39, which is my next resistance level, if it can get above that, then we start, we can start to take a look at market cipher and see where we're going to be headed from there. But overall, Bitcoin uh, got a very big drop and now we're going to get a bit of a relief bounce. Now, this could be the B wave here uh, starting to come back up and then we might come back down in a C leg. OK, so that's essentially my setup for the time being. And who knows, maybe we're still in A and it's going to extend lower. Uh, but this is what I have uh, charted for the time being. Uh, this is the bullish scenario where we're going to come back down around 36,000 to 34,000. That should act as a good area of support for this big rally that we've gotten. Let me just come up, uh, come up here, and just do a little bit of a, a little bit more of an uh, uh, in-depth analysis here, because I do believe the fifth wave has, has just finished now, and now we should be coming back. So you, again, you can go a little bit lower. Maybe we'll hit the 618. Uh, right around 33,500 to, or to 668, right around 32,500. But overall, this would be where I would start to look for some long opportunities. And again, I'll, I'll update you guys how I'm going to be entering and when I'm going to be entering my trades inside the Discord. You guys can see we actually got some really happy members today. Uh, Giotto got a very big win on that AVAX entry. Obviously, he's using a lot of leverage, but again, very, very, very happy overall let's keep going here let's take a look at market cipher so market cipher on the daily time frame showing a big slowdown and potentially a continuation in the bitcoin drop here with a 22 and a minus five on the dual band strength index taking a look at the four hour here uh, we are very oversold and we actually printed a green dot so we should be due for a bit of a relief rally possible bounce coming up to 43,000 44 42,000 somewhere around there basically where I outlined uh, the short-term resistance for you guys right here so if we do bounce up uh, maybe look for some shorts or to exit some of your longs right around 43,100 okay uh, taking a look here let me just get over to there we go to Bitcoin we actually saw a good amount of buying I believe on the one hour time frame there we go yes we saw some accumulation coming in on the one hour time frame so that's why i think we, we might get a bit of a bounce macd starting to cross over on the one hour the daily time frame we got this big bearish red cross and big whale sell signal here uh right around the highs 44,200. again the whales are selling as the pump goes on it doesn't mean it's always going to be a topping signal you can take a look at larger time frames if you really are looking for a topping signal but again those haven't printed yet so that's why we may not have a significant top yet and we could technically still go higher right so all coins are doing very well although they did get a very big drop today there's you can see in, in inj engine or whatever it's, it continues to pump even with this big bitcoin decline as you as you guys can probably tell uh same thing for avax so avax and 
uh, Injun are very bullish at the moment. But again, all good things come to an end. And there's a lot of dumb money pouring into these coins right now. So there's a lot of people FOMOing in, re expecting like, oh, we're going to, you know, $60 any moment now or $80, right? Because you're just going to keep doubling. But people who have been holding since here are probably going to start to exit and take profit. But again, that's just me. And that's just what I, I, I think that people are going to rush into these coins and they're gonna they're gonna get wrecked right they're gonna eventually this will correct like it just has today and they're gonna it's not gonna end well right we can we can see these corrections are just starting to begin uh can they continue down yes they can but again the momentum is very bullish the trend is very bullish and uh, again if bitcoin keeps going up all these coins can keep going up but uh, overall i think the bitcoin uh, is going to be is going to start a bigger correction lower it doesn't mean it's going to 30 uh, 30k or 20k or anything like that but i do have some levels outlined for you guys inside the discord okay uh let's take a look here at the dollar very quickly so the dollar had a nice update today and so did the yields the yields actually ended up pulling back near the end of the day uh we did get a breakout from this down sloping trend line i believe it might be just be coming down to retest it which would be short-term bullish for the markets. And if it keeps breaking out, oh, let me just see here. But did it break out today? Yeah, I'd have to get on some smaller time frames for in terms of for, for in terms of looking at the yields here. Uh, yeah, so on the R side, looks like you did get a bit of a breakout uh, in terms of a, of a trend. So you can see here, it's already starting to break out. Could be coming back down to retest and bounce up to go higher, which means yields may have bottomed out here and could be getting ready to go higher which is bearish for the markets and could be bearish for uh for bitcoin and cryptos as well but right now not bearish at all i mean the market doesn't really care about anything other than good news and good news they'll turn into uh, sorry bad news they'll turn into good news so it's just very bullish at the moment nothing to bad to talk about the markets everything just keeps floating up on like volume uh, but uh, again, if you guys want to get more analysis on that, you guys can head over to Hedgeline Trading. And you can get my analysis over there. Uh, yeah, so just following up on the cryptos here, you're seeing actually lots of dip buying coming. Uh, taking a look like, uh, not AVAX, but I think I was taking a look at Chainlink before. So Chainlink, you're seeing some accumulation right around the lows here at $14.46. And you, we could get another pump in the short term. So just be ready. Don't be surprised if we just pump up another 20 25 percent right it could very well happen and taking a look at solana another very popular coin that everyone's trading at the moment you didn't see any accumulation but you see you saw a big amount of distribution coming here and solana again is another darling right the favorites of uh of crypto right now everyone seems to be buying it you can get on the shorter time frames you might see some signals that, that people are buying or selling right and in terms of accumulation but overall i mean th these coins are very extended at the moment getting into long-term positions now is not the time to do it <laughs> right the time to do it was lower down here but again do what you do what's best for you uh anyways i think that's it for now i don't really have much to update you guys with other than the uh, bitcoins had that big drop and could be getting ready to go further down uh, but again, we might get a bit of a relief rally in the short term before that happens. Okay. Anyways, have a wonderful day, guys. Love you all. Peace.